good morning to all the delegates also to our president dr mari tolrawa and the chairman and secretary general professor natsim at the outset i would like to thank the icpf for honoring me with this memorial presentation of the past president icpf professor kenneth salia the world renowned cleft craniofacial surgeon it was unfortunate that he left us on december 13 2020 leaving us all with a great grief professor kenneth salia was born on august 18 1936 in kansas city kansas united states of america he lived in the world for 84 years and died of a mass massive brain stroke personally i know him for more than 20 years as my mentor guide and also a great supporter and guide for icpf i have discussed the treatment of major complex craniofacial cases and received his opinion to provide better surgery for my patients on november 22nd 1963 our young kenneth salia has attended on to the president of united states of america john f kennedy when he was shot our professor kenneth salia was in the casualty team which treated him after his successful training in plastic surgery in 1969 he became the chief of the plastic surgery at the university of texas southwestern dallas at that time he had the acquaintance with professor paul tessier of paris who was the leader in this field and before professor kenneth salia Professor Kenneth Salier associated himself with Paul Tessier and formed a group with uh, doctors Joseph Murray, Professor Converse, uh, Edgar Turton, and Wood Smith and Mutas Habal. They were together and formed a group of uh, uh, many surgeons and who made a lot of changes in the field of craniofacial surgery. He interacted with many others and other like-minded surgeons and formed a, the band of brothers. the surgeons were and um, linton and Mo- artist monastero and uh, ian munro ian jackson and daniel marshak together they have trained more than 250 to 300 craniofacial fellows after his retirement from the university of texas southwestern medical school he started his private practice with a multidisciplinary uh, craniofacial hospital institute in Dallas Texas he had the flow of patients from more than 75 countries around the world he has established the world craniofacial foundation in 1989 through his foundation he delivered world class treatment for not only the people of united states of america but across the world uh, that is around 11 centers he established he acted as the great mentor for many of the craniofacial surgeons in the world and also trained them and educated them by craniofacial fellowship in Dallas his program was the first accredited craniofacial program which was recognized in united states of america and in 2003 his surgery was the first successful surgery that is everybody knows about this famous surgery in separating the conjoined two year old egyptian children ahmed and mohammed ibrahim his surgery took 34 hours with about 50 specialists in the field and the success story brought him into the limelight in the world the world craniofacial foundation was greatly sought after in the field of craniofacial surgery I am honored and proud to say that my hospital in Chennai is one of the 11 centers in the world and recognized by the World Craniofacial Foundation of Professor Kenneth Salia. At my invitation, he has visited our hospital in Chennai a few times and operated many complicated craniofacial surgeries. <clears throat> one live surgical workshop of ICPF was conducted under his leadership in our hospital and I would like to thank professor natsumi for his great support of the uh, that event right now his legacy is continued with the craniofacial team led by dr diego steinberg and derek bruce and uh, rol basilo and others and they are operating all over the world 
to Libya, Egypt, South Africa, Argentina, Mexico, China, Russia, Uganda, Oman, Laos, and India and Colombia. My last physical meeting with was with him with this legend, Professor Kenneth Salier, was in 2009 in Japan at the our ICPF annual meeting. His presidential lecture was well received by the craniofacial surgeons of the world. After this interaction, we worked, worked virtually only for the, until he died. And I was eagerly waiting for the master to come and operate again in India uh, with us. Unfortunately, this could not happen. And to his statistics, he has operated over 12,000 craniofacial surgeries with 200 articles in pre-year-reviewed journals. And he has also authored, co-authored and edited 11 books. Professor Kenneth Salier has left behind a great legacy to vast number of craniofacial surgeons in the world. The 11 centers recognized being him are affiliated to the world and doing a great work in the field of craniofacial surgery. Currently, the World Craniofacial Foundation is led by Mr. Russell Martin and Dr. Diego Steinberg and Alexander Sandy McNabb and Dr. Derek Bruce, one of the renowned neurosurgeons. And at this juncture, I would like to uh, point out that ICPF has uh, lost its great leader. We all miss him a lot. I'm sure Professor Tolarawa and Professor Narsimi will carry out his vision forward with this with their hard work. I am wishing them all the best and God's mercy. I am wishing all the delegates of this conference a great scientific feast. Thank you all for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.